crimes may be charged by domestic violence in Arizona. Obviously, not every crime is a domestic violence eligible offense. Rather, the designation depends on two things. First, the status of the defendant and victim's relationship, discussed in this Hustlaw video. And two, whether the conduct falls into a specific category of crimes. Arizona Revised Statute 13-3601A details the crimes that may be charged by domestic violence in Arizona. First, all types of homicide. First and second degree murder, manslaughter, and negligent homicide. This should be no surprise. Half of all homicides in this country are domestic related. Also, crimes such as endangerment, threatening and intimidating, assault and aggravated assault may all be charged with a domestic violence designation. All of these offenses present an element of violence by deed or threat. So it is not difficult to see why these crimes may be designated as domestic violence offenses. Also, Custodial interference, unlawful imprisonment, and kidnapping may all be charged by domestic violence in Arizona. Obviously, restraining another's movement is a controlling behavior fairly consistently found in domestic violence cases and allegations. Also, custodial interference issues frequently occur between estranged couples with children in common. As with the other domestic violence eligible offenses we've just discussed, it is not difficult to see why these may be designated by domestic violence. In addition, certain sex offenses, such as sexual assault and revenge porn, are domestic violence eligible offenses. Revenge porn is the act of releasing nude or sexual photos of the victim. This has become an issue, causing the legislature to criminalize the conduct and make it a domestic violence eligible offense. Also, domestic violence may be designated onto any dangerous crime against children, defined in ARS 13-705. Typically, these are sex and child abuse crimes that may involve adult family members as perpetrators, so the domestic violence designation is fairly obvious. Finally, the offenses of criminal trespass, criminal damage, disorderly conduct, interfering with judicial proceedings, harassment, stalking, and use of an electronic device to terrify all may be designated as domestic violence offenses. All of these crimes demonstrate an element of violation or control that seems to be a consistent thread in most domestic violence cases. Finally, both child abuse and vulnerable adult abuse may be designated as domestic violence offenses. This is some of the worst types of family violence and the domestic violence allegation is pretty obvious here. A domestic violence designation is added to the crimes we just discussed if a certain relationship exists between the defendant and victim. This designation creates additional consequences and could seriously impact a person's life. It is important to consult with experienced attorneys, like the attorneys at Huss Law. Call me today for a free consultation.